Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Thursday. It is the fifth day of January, cruising right through this week. Uh, it's National Bird Day today. I'm not even going to sing uh, you. Don't. I'm not even going to sing you Happy Bird Day. I usually do that, and uh-huh. she rolls her eyes. So we'll move on. National Keto Day today. National Screenwriters Day. And National Whipped Cream Day. How are we going to celebrate that? Mmm. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Not the Whip- same way we did last year. I was <laughs> sticky for a week. Ah, oh, boy. I wish I was there for that. <laughs> I don't know what you did. I clearly missed out. Um, in addition to all of these special things happening today, it's also a special day because on Thursdays we do a thing called Dear John Letters. Yes, we do. And we get a letter here from somebody who mailed out a Christmas card and then they got it returned to sender. Refused, unable to forward. So we're going to break that down. Refused? Yeah. So we're going to break that down. That's weird. We're going to chat about that, what that could mean or what that might mean or what that probably means. I don't know what it means. We're going to chat about it, though, from a confused friend for this week's Dear John Letter. It's on the way. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. You know the old cliche about not being able to eat just one potato chip? Turns out it's an actual thing. It's embedded in our DNA, they think. Researchers at Japan, uh, Japan's, Japan. uh, Japan's Osaka Metropolitan University, I can't talk today, they said they've uncovered a gene that has a strong correlation to obesity prevention. It helps you stop yourself before you overeat, especially greasy junk foods. The put-a-fork-down gene, called the CREB Regulated Transcription Covactor 1, <laughs> nailed it! The CRTC1 gene was studied in mice to observe how it affects eating habits. Mice bred to have this gene deleted and put on a high-fat diet tended to develop diabetes and gain more weight than the control mice. So... If you find you can't stop eating junk food, blame it on your genes. The scientists say they hope to discover, uh, this discovery rather, will lead to a better understanding of what causes people to overeat, not just mice. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I struggle. I do too. I, I will. But I'm not ready for them to change my genes. I'm gonna oh, just, gosh, no. My genes are tight, so we'll just... <laughs> Oh, different genes? No, I'm not letting anybody mess with my genes. Right. That's, Surveys uh... and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying just $15 a month learn more now at mintervention.com that's mintervention.com did you know brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com Heidi did you know that single men are stinkier than guys in a relationship according to the results of a sniff test (laughs) while pungent body odor and being single may seem like they go hand in hand researchers at Marquis University in Australia say that a strong whiff may actually help unattached men signal their availability to women 91 men were supplied with a plain white t-shirt and instructed to exercise enough that a significant amount of sweat was absorbed into the underarm of said t-shirt. The shirts were then passed beneath the nostrils of 82 women. The lucky girls determined... What a disgusting what? study. There is the no lucky way girls I would take part in this. Determin- you wouldn't be able to anyway. Your sense of smell is terrible, which is why we work out so well. Uh, lucky women said that the single men's BO smelled stronger than the BO of the men who had a partner. The study authors... Concluded from an evolutionary perspective, it may be advantageous for women to be able to detect chemo signals, like in your sweat, apparently, uh, that connote coupledom and ultimately avoid courting partners, especially males with offspring, due to the relatively reduced resources they have to offer. I don't understand you any of that. You know what I think it is? I think right. it's um, when they said, yeah, exercise enough to get some sweat. The single guys are actually exercising. <laughs> the married guys are like, yeah. I'll put in a little bit of effort. 
That's probably what it is. They probably just went in the bathroom and splashed some water on their pits and said, they'll never know. I'm not going to exercise. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. The first round of presenters for the 80th Golden Globe Awards has been announced. Um, Anna de Armas, Anna Gasteyer, Bill Porter, or Billy Porter, rather, Coleman Domingo, Julie, I'm sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis, who we've had on the program. Yes, we have. Uh, Michael J. Rodriguez, uh, Natasha Leon, Nicole Byer, Nisi Nash, Quentin Tarantino, and Tracy Morgan. Several of those I don't know. And I might have said their names but wrong, and I apologize. We uh, but they are all set to hand out the trophies and the envelopes and all of that stuff on Tuesday. So next Tuesday, January the 10th. All righty. It's a return of the Golden Globes after several years of scandal and controversy over corruption and lack of diverse voter membership led to a suspension of the telecast last year. Previously announced, by the way, Eddie Murphy will be on hand to get his 2023 Cecil D. Cecil B. DeMille Award, which is really, well really cool. Well deserved. And uh, well. it says Ryan Murphy will get the Carol Burnett Award, which is also really cool. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. You ever heard of the uh, dry January? You know what that is? Yeah. It's when thousands of people around the world lie and say they're not going to drink anything in the entire <laughs> month of January. Okay, they probably don't really lie. Uh, what they usually end up doing is not drinking for a week or two, and then they go, well, one drink's not going to be that much. <laughs> then they drink lightly for the rest of the month. Uh, many make it all the way through the month, though, with the plan of returning to their old hedonistic drinking habits on February hedonistic. 1st. Hedonistic. Yeah, I'm reading it word for word, honey. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm reading it. <laughs> but perhaps, surprisingly... That's often not what happens. Studies show that people who participate in dry January and other sobriety challenges frequently experience lasting benefits, and often they end up drinking less in the long run and making other sustained changes to their drinking habits that lead to striking improvements in their health and well-being. So why does dry January seem to have a lasting effect? A month of sobriety, however daunting it may sound, is not a long time and it seems like it's very, very possible. But is it long enough to help form new habits? Well, they say turning down alcohol in social settings can be empowering. Mm -hmm. Taking a break from alcohol can trigger immediate health benefits like weight loss, better sleep, and a boost to your mood and energy levels, which can reinforce the new habits. British and American researchers found those who gave up alcohol for the month of January lost on average four and a half pounds. Yeah. Their blood pressure dropped. And they had a dramatic reduction in their levels of insulin resistance and marker for two, uh, which is a marker for ty type two diabetes. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. I, at Christmas time, we were talking uh, with my sister in law, and we were talking about you know gonna all of us gonna do a little, mm -hmm. little uh, better job of you know trying to lose some weight in January. She said it's not fair because she's like I will do crunches and I'll yep. be working out and doing this. And then Jason's like I'm gonna quit putting creamer in my coffee and he yep. loses twenty five pounds and I lose eight. Yeah. It's like, it's just not fair. So, I don't know. That's true. I don't write the rules. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And it's time right now for Dear John Letters. All right, I got a Dear John letter here. I actually know this person. It's a friend of mine. Uh, I won't say who it is because we make all of these anonymous. But take a listen. Feast your ears on this, Heidi. Dear John, here's a question for you. I mailed out a Christmas card to a childhood friend. 
This year, my card was returned with a yellow sticker that said, Return to sender, refused, unable to forward. Is this saying that he refused it? It caught me off guard. Thoughts? Should I try to call and make sure everything's okay? Not sure if this means they moved and I just need a new address, or if they saw my card and rejected it. I've always gotten along with him, but earlier this year, he and my wife did get in an argument on Facebook. I don't think that it was a big deal, but who knows these days. What do you think I should do? Signed, confused friend. So I'm going to read. It must have just been a new address, unable to forward. Because yeah. who, I mean, even if you don't want the Christmas card, you don't refuse it. <laughs> you just don't, you, you know. I'll show you. That's awfully childish. Getting in an argument with me on Facebook. <laughs> I'm refusing your card. Uh, um, I don't think so. So again, in parentheses here, he says, oh, I mean, this person says, I don't, I don't even usually <laughs> say the gender. Uh, this person says, return to sender, refused, unable to forward. So I think that that's all. Unable to forward is. I think that's just one sticker yeah. or stamp or whatever it is that kind of covers all the bases. So I think return to sender, it wasn't necessarily refused. It was yeah, just unable to forward. That's what I think. That's what so, I think too. What you might want to do, check and see if your friend if you're, uh, is still, you're still a friend. still friends on Facebook. Yeah. Because that could be a huge. If you go to Facebook and you're no longer friends. Yeah, maybe they refused it. And if you are still friends, just say, hey, did you get a new address? I tried to send you a Christmas card. Yeah, and, and, and here's what you can do. clear it up. Here's what you can do now, because it's like way after Christmas. You could just say, hey, what you doing? We should get together one of these days. I got a card I was going to, I mailed it to you, but it came back. And then you go see the person if they're close by. See, that that means more than a card anyway. We got a card, a Christmas card. <laughs> and that was really funny. My my wife holds this over to me. She's like, who's this? And I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, who who who's this from? You're You're like all confused i go it's our neighbors <laughs> now we did we just moved we did just move to a new in my defense yeah. of course i never remember anybody's names so <laughs> but i thought it was funny that That's they mailed unusual. it because i'm i can I literally look out my window and see them they could have walked it over and handed it to me and then heidi was like oh i don't think we sent them a card so <laughs> did you now did you dig through and find a card no because i'm all out of my cards oh, but see. i will i will go over and see them uh-huh uh-huh well well We'll invite them over. Bring us some cookies or something. <laughs> the stale cookies. Here's some. Yeah, over. we. I just saw those. <laughs> we were digging through. We found some cookies from like three or four weeks ago. And we're like, oh, we should probably get rid of those now. <laughs> All right. That is your Dear John letter. If you would like to submit your very own Dear John letter for next week or the following week, it's really easy to do. You can go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Send a message there. Or... If you're not on Facebook or if you don't want to do it there, you can submit your Dear John letter at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Millionaires who earned their wealth are happier than those who inherit it, according to a study. How do they know? Uh, yeah. uh, they're like, they're happy. Like, how happy I'd are you? I'd take it if somebody wanted to give it to me. <laughs> You'd inherit some? Yeah. What, what if you worked If you worked really hard, like you had to cross the street to pick up the check or something? Then, then you get the best of both worlds, see? Okay. All right. Hey, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Latin had about 800 obscene words. English has about 20. So apparently Latin is just filthy. Wow. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Adult cats only meow at humans. Adult cats do not meow at other cats. How fascinating oh, is that? Oh, weird. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In your lifetime, most people will spend an average of one entire year sitting on a toilet. <laughs> and this is Heidi's QSA. <laughs> Some people are above average. Yeah. And why are you pointing at me? Several fun facts. You know what? I used to read in there. Now I'm on a smartphone in there. I probably should just get out of there. And you're in there forever yeah, on I your got phone. Great stuff on that phone. 
Several fun facts. Now you know. So if you ever get a message from me, well, you know where I sent it from. (laughs) Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month month that's far less than most people are paying just 15 dollars a month learn more now at mintervention.com that's mintervention.com time now for the mint mobile question of the day Yay! Yay! it's brought to you by mintervention.com question heidi on average we do this several hundred times a day as a child but only about 15 times a day as an adult what is it nap no <laughs> What? <laughs> Several hundred naps a day? Did you think of that as you as you said it? You realized how silly that's not? <laughs> no, several hundred times a day, kids will laugh, but only 15 times as an adult. Oh, that's sad. I have to sad. tell you, it is We sad. laugh way more than we that. We do. We laugh probably more than we should, actually. And we should probably get back to work. Mint Mobile, question of the day, comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Like I said the other day, we're going to have some Christmas stories trickling into January here because, you know, they do the stuff Christmas time and then it finally makes it to our corner of the world like this. From Michigan, police were called to a disturbance at a Christmas party at a hotel. A man in a Grinch costume got into a fight with a party goer who was wearing a reindeer outfit. Boy, I'd pay money to watch that. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) When the fight spilled out of the bar into the lobby, a hotel employee tried to intervene, and that is when things took a nasty turn. Instead of fighting each other, Mr. Reindeer and Mr. Grinch turned on this employee. Mr. Reindeer shoved him to the ground. The Grinch pummeled the poor guy, (laughs) gave him a black eye, and broke his watch. That's not nice. Police arrived after getting things under control. They arrested the Grinch and charged him with assault and battery. The reindeer got a warning to be nice and was not charged. Why? The reindeer pushed him to the ground. The reindeer. The the drunk man dressed as a reindeer is the one who pushed him to the ground. Oh, that's not nice. Weird news. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. This might be the most controversial list I've ever read, Heidi. Okay. Greatest movies of all time, according to Variety Magazine. Okay. Get ready for Heidi to disagree. Mm -hmm. Number 10, Saving Private Ryan, 1998. Nine, All About Eve, 1950. Eight, It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. Seven, 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968. Mm. Six, Seven Samurai, 1954. Five, Pulp Fiction, 94. Four, Citizen Kane from 41. Three, The Godfather, 72. Two, Wizard of Oz, 1939. What do you think the number one movie of all time, according to Variety Magazine? Greatest movie of all time. What do you think it is? Oh, my gosh. I have no... I really honestly have no... Psycho, 1960. What? Yeah. Now, this is where Heidi says, this this is crazy. What do you put? Give me one movie that belongs on there that wasn't on there. One movie that belongs on there, which was a masterpiece, is A Fish Called Wanda. Oh, yeah, that's a good The writing was brilliant. The acting was brilliant. It it was was perfect to leave. It's a great movie. There you go. See? All right. There. I I disagree with the list as well, but we'll move on. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Casey Stengel. Casey says, all right, everyone, line up alphabetically according to your height. Oh, funny. (laughs) I know what he means, but, you know, it's not how you do it. I just think that sounds funny. Uh, 
That is your quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. They know a little thing uh, or two about quotes, but they know about insurance quotes. <laughs> See? Ah, thanks for listening to nice. me, John. That was not even the way you read that, but that's I okay. I was close. I clicked the button. <laughs> I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. I love this story, Heidi. You love love all the good news stories, John. I do. Well, not all of them, but most of them. This one is from... Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. A waitress who had to work on Christmas Day received a $1,000 tip. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Generous customer. Made working on the holiday a little worth her while. It says uh, $1,000 tip to celebrate your six years of service uh, to go's diner and thank you for smiling and working on Christmas Day. So Callie Blue said she got a text message from the boss, 4.50 a.m. Gus's diner. I said go's diner. Uh, at Gus's Diner, asked if she could be there by 5.30. Her second guest of the day was a person named Michael Johnson. Michael, I want to say, walked in around 6 o'clock. He was really sweet. He just wanted to chit-chat a little bit, got some new things. Before he left, he tipped me $1,000, she said. Wow. It was the biggest tip she's ever received, topping the $100 tip she got last Christmas. Johnson, who is the president and CEO of the Boys and Girls Club in Dane County, was on a mission to give servers on Christmas life-changing tips so this guy came in there with a plan i think that's awesome it is merry christmas callie from gus's diner in sun prairie i learned callie was trying to figure out how to cover the rent this week and our donors awarded her the biggest tip of her six-year career gus's diner says when i walked in at 6 a.m she was smiling and pleasant and seemed very happy to be at work after i took a little video she walked to the back of the restaurant surprised by the generosity as i was walking out she asked me to take a picture I cannot believe this is happening, she said. Aww. So how cool is that? Yeah, that's pretty great. I've got a link to the story. You can read it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday.